you were just talking about yards being rolled. Mm-hmm. You've got teenagers, so people throwing uh, TP up in the trees and in the bushes, that's going to happen around this time of year. Now, were you the one telling me about the coach that no one could ever roll his yard? He would always catch everyone? Were you telling mm, that me? That wasn't me. Okay, I was recently on the Gulf Coast, so maybe someone told me this story. It was so cool. There was this shop teacher or a coach, very popular on the campus. The kids loved him, and they would every year try to roll his yard. If you're from a part of the country where you're not sure what we're talking about, they throw toilet paper up in the trees, and it's just hanging everywhere. It's just I think unless you live in the desert, I think that happens everywhere. I don't know that it happens in the extreme northeast, but it's very popular in the south and the mid-south. And in the Midwest. Oh, in the Midwest. I mean, uh, friends of mine did it all the time. I never did. (laughs) It's kind of a bad thing, but they usually do that to the popular teacher or to the popular coach or whatever. Well, you know, I told my my son came in. He said, oh, someone rolled our yard. And he, I said, that's all right. That's good. That's a good thing. I mean, that just means you've got friends that love you. Right, Yeah. exactly. Well, here's what happened. Someone was telling me the story, and they said it's either a shop teacher or a coach. And every year, everyone who ever tried to roll his yard, midnight, two in the morning, whatever, he was always out there on the porch, always out there, and he caught the people every single time. And so they just said, you know, you can't get him. And so then the next year, the class would say, we will. So the la- this very last attempt, they said, we're going to roll his yard and, you know, they're there at 3 or 4 in the morning or whatever the case is. Mm-hmm. So while they're out there rolling his yard and they've parked way down the lane there and they've come to roll his yard and the lights come on and there's, a, you know, there's all kinds of commotion and everything. So they run lickety split down the lane. They quickly jump in their car. They're breathing hard. They're driving off and they're going, man, we almost got caught, but we didn't. And they don't realize there's an additional person in their car sitting in the back seat <gasps> and they're out. talking and going and his wife stayed at the house and he snuck down and got in their back seat and she turned on the lights and you know sounded uh-huh. the alarm right, and everything right, right. and he was so clever that he went down and was sitting in the back seat and just nearly scared them out of their skin <laughs> and they're still talking about it that, well i would we need to get that coach or that shop teacher on the find out that story and uh, and get them on the air. That would be fun to oh, tell. Oh, man. That is that is the best. That makes me want to just sit in the car all night. Let's you. I tell you <laughs> well, what, that guy doesn't have. Let's you and I go row that guy's yard. That's, <laughs> <laughs> mm. See if it can be done. Boy, there was my little inner junior high guy just came out, and I just said, yeah, let's do it. Let's. Yeah, but, well, but look I'm how late you have to stay up. Yeah, do well, that. plus, look how late you have to stay up <laughs> way past no, our bedtime. No, all we got to do is get up a little earlier. That's all we have to do. Anyway, Building 429, you know, kids, by the way, if you're listening to the show and looking for role models and people to, you know, encourage you to live a godly life, uh, thanks for listening to us anyway.